everybody, welcome to another episode of Guns, Knives, and Beer. And today we are back in the Pike National Forest, the Buffalo Creek area. You might have seen it in a few of the other videos. Today we're going to head up there, just over that ridge, to a place called Top of the World. And at Top of the World, we're going to uh, sit down. I've got my solo stove with me today. We're going to do a little bit of uh, cooking. Got some uh, very interesting. Uh, food with me that you probably wouldn't find normally in the middle of Colorado, but uh, we're going to cook it up. Disney's here with me as well. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. Come here, you. Gotcha. I got the old Diz with me. We're going to go have some fun, go run around. Disney's going to look for birds, but no guns today. But I do have something with me. Normally I do the beer segment outside of wherever I am, but uh, today you're going to get a surprise. So, hey, it's a beautiful day here in Colorado. It is 50 degrees Fahrenheit. I mean, I'll probably end up losing this jacket. And uh, we've got sunshine, another bluebird day right here in Colorado. Kind of like what we get 320 days out of the year. So uh, stick with us. We'll be back real soon. Later. what used to be an old road that um, was part of the campground area here. Now this campground was here until uh, a fire called the Heyman Fire which was back in uh, the late 90s. I think 98? We'll find out for sure. But uh, the Heyman Fire was started by a U.S. Forest Service Ranger. Um, she was apparently jilted by her boyfriend and decided that she was going to set the note that he gave her on fire and threw it into a fire pit and then burned about 25,000 acres of, of land. Um, this is not the exact spot. We'll take you to the exact spot and um, show you where that all happened. But um, these are some old trails that you know people just don't come on anymore because you can't camp here. Um, you can't, you, well, you used to be able to drive your car in, now you cannot drive your car in. But, uh, we'll, we'll explore around a little bit. Hey, we've got all day and it's such a beautiful day, we might as well. Do want to show you the other view. Hang on. Here we go. And, uh, I think you guys have, here we go. I think you guys have seen this view before. Move over so you can see it. But, uh. That's Mount Evans up there, 14,000 feet above sea level. A little light snowpack, but not much. Um, but yeah, can't get better views anywhere, you know? In a big country, dreams stay with you. Anyway, that's enough of my singing. We'll be back in a second. Stick around. All right, just wanted to give you a uh, glimpse of this because the view is just absolutely stunning. Um, I, I wish there were trees. Um, and this used to be a very, very wooded forest before the fire. Um, it's, it's a damn shame because I, I can just imagine how beautiful this was when there were trees. And if you look out there, You'll see some trees. So, out there, uh, right over here, we were there in a previous video, and I'll link to that, hopefully. 
um, called Chair Rocks. And that's when we took the bike and we mountain biked out to Chair Rocks. Um, just before that, right over here, that is top of the world and that's where we're going to head. So uh, yeah, gorgeous blue day today. Um, warm and uh, sunny, kind of like sunburn sunny. Um, and I did not bring my sunblock, so uh, I'm just going to keep bundled up and hope for the best. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's keep going. He'll just go on forever. I, I just nonstop. And he can't sit still. <laughs> Gotta love it. Alright folks, we're getting there. Wind has certainly picked up a bit, but uh shouldn't be too much of a problem. But we are definitely getting there. Beautiful, beautiful view of Pikes Peak today way out there. That's in Colorado Springs. So it's a good uh, 90 miles from here. Um, yeah. Amazing what 14ers can do, huh? It's just beautiful. Just beautiful. And Mount Evans also doing really well. Yeah, we're getting a lot closer. Won't be long now. Sit down, get some lunch. Relax a bit. See you in a few. Top of the world. I'm gonna take you check out the campground. I'm gonna take you to a unique uh, little historical marker as well. There's stuff all over the place, right? We're having a good time. Hey, just like girl in the woods style. Yeah. Okay, so this is what I wanted to show y'all. Let's take a look. All right. So, what is this? Well, somebody carted up a lot of rocks and concrete and rebar. And they built this little marker here. It's just a geolo geological marker. We can take a look. And we can see right there. Yeah. DWD Picnic Reset, 1995. And uh, yeah, I don't know the history about it, but uh, And I don't know why the marker says 1995, but yep, it's gotten quite windy up here. We are at the top of the world, so let me set this up a second here. All right, so we are at the top of the world, and this is the marker at the top of the world. This was a campsite, a uh, pretty large campsite that used to exist here before the fires, um, back in late 90s. Um, as you can see the wind has picked up out there in the background. That's Mount Evans. I think you've seen that before in other videos. Disney wants to just go find birds right now. You want to go find birds? Go find birds. So, 
existed um, back in the 90s. It was actually a very popular campground. And uh, it's a shame that it's not opened up anymore. Uh, although people do backpack up to here and, and bring tents and do tent camping here. But you used to be able to drive your, your vehicles up here as well. Um, we're going to go back towards the woods and we're going to set up there. I'm going to try and see if I can create a little bit of a windbreak so I'm not setting this place on fire again. Um, so that's coming up. So stick with us. Then I'll have an announcement. Okay, so I've got a little bit of a fire pit here. Let me turn that around. Much better. So I've got a little bit of a fire pit here. Now, let's see. What do I got in here? So I've been working on a lot of crafts lately. This is one of them. So this is, there we go. This is a ground cloth. This is to put your pack on. Just some wax canvas, sewed up the sides. Let's see, what else got on here? Ha, got my logo. <laughs> so, just gonna use that for the pack. What we got here is the billy can, and inside the billy can. Solo stove. So we're gonna give this a go. Uh, it's quite windy. But uh, yeah, just a little mini solo stove. We'll give that a go. Stand by. So, I'm just collecting a bunch of sticks, twigs that are going to be the right size for this stove. Hopefully get my water boiling pretty quick for the next part. So I'll just put those there. Uh, I'm not going to mess around today. So, I can figure out how to open it. Come on. Okay, I have to use a knife, I think. We're just going to use some cotton balls that have been soaked in Vaseline to help get this started. Not going to mess around today. We just want it to go. I think it'll go pretty quickly, so. And, if all goes well, I should have my lighter. Okay. Get that started. stove going. If I don't put it out first.
once this thing takes off, it should be pretty good. Um, so I'll just let some of that wood start cooking in there, and then we'll then we'll get our pot on. What's for lunch, you might ask? Let's see. Old insulated pouch. And today we have a tilapia. That's right, fish, folks. Fish. Top of Colorado. Not trout. Tilapia. Tilapia sous vide. So, again, I think I mentioned this in the past, but what sous vide is, is that all the ingredients, vegetables, fish, uh, seasonings, everything is put in this retort package and vacuum sealed. And then I cook it within the package when it's vacuum sealed. So all the freshness, everything is enclosed in there. All the vitamins, everything is still there. I'm just gonna pop that into some boiling water for some 10 minutes or so. And then we'll, uh, it'll be ready to eat. It's already cooked. Cool. Then I got another surprise too, but that's coming up in a little while. All right, fire she is a going. So we will take the old billy can and put her on top and hopefully we get ourselves some boiling water. And then once that water's boiling, we'll be off to the races. See you in a bit. Well, the flames are definitely going. Yeah, now I'm facing the wrong way. Water. Good boy. Yeah, so. My finagling gloves. That's what I call them. I finagle the hot pot. Right? Right. Above sea level takes a bit longer to boil than I see. Part of it. Okay. So the water is boiling, so I did already stick the sous vide in there. Um, so that's going to be a few minutes. 20 minutes? Nah, 10 minutes maybe. It's going to keep feeding this fire. Find some little sticks too. This is called lazy and not wanting to <laughs> get your saw. Because I need to. I will say that these little stoves are incredibly efficient. I mean, just the way it reburns the gas and gives off more heat. Very, very cool. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, folks. Today's guns, knives, and beer beer segment is actually in the whole thing. It's not separate. It's part of it. I got my koozie. There you go. And you might have seen these floating around. But, uh, yep, got a whole bunch of these. And the beer is in there. And it's cold. So what do we got? We got a purple can. I don't remember if I ever did this one before, but it is a very purple can. Very purple. What do we got in this purple can? Well, today we've got Crux Brewing. Crux, I think, is in Oregon, right? Bend, Oregon? Probably. 
Sure is, Bend, Oregon. And this beer today, I think I did do this one. Gimme Mo. Gimme Mo, not just another IPA. I don't remember if I did it or I didn't. 6.2% alcohol by volume. I think this is gonna be a good day. Anyway, what's he looking at? Don't know. <laughs> Let's get this thing opened up and give it a taste. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> a little foam action. Oh yeah. Awesome. That is so good. Crux Brewing. Give me Mo IPA. Not just another IPA. And, uh, gotta get some more wood in this fire. Alright, before I sit down to eat, I just wanted to get in the sun here and uh, give you a little bit of an update. So, the channel blew up uh, a couple of weeks ago. All of a sudden, I got all of these subscribers hit the 500 mark, and I have no idea why. So, somewhere, somewhere, it's somewhere, someplace, it's playing. And, yeah, all of a sudden, I'm getting all these subscribers. So, here's the deal. I think we're at, like, sorry about the win. I think we're at, like, 600 now. Um, I'm going to do a really big giveaway at 1,000 subscribers. So, at 1,000 subscribers... You're going to get one of my uh, handmade um, ground cloths. It'll probably be a much larger one than it is. Uh, it is a waxed canvas um, ground cloth that you can use to put your pack on, you can sit on. You're also going to get um, um, one of my uh, foraging pouches that I got right here that I make. Also, um, canvas and leather and that'll be handmade for you and uh, a few other things of course the the old can koozies and some other pouches and stuff but there'll also be a very 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 significant knife as part of the giveaway now i haven't figured out which one it's going to be but uh let's just say the knife is probably worth over 200 dollars so u.s dollars so it's a beautiful bushcraft knife that's not been used, but I've been sitting and staring at it, and I don't think I'm ever going to use it. I, I'm, I like my cheap condor. I don't know why, but I do. So I'm going to give that knife away. I don't have a picture of it now, but um, you know, in one of the next videos, I'll show you a picture of the giveaway there. That's at 1,000 subscribers. So when we get to 1,000 subscribers, um, I'll figure out how to give it all away. And then we've got just a big bunch of stuff to give away. Lots of cool things. So at 1,000 subscribers. So faster we get there, faster I give it away. So tell your friends. Tell the other channels to, you know, maybe mention me. I don't know. I don't know how you get there. I have not done anything special to try and get more subscribers. But if you can help me, we get to 1,000 We've got a giveaway that's probably worth, I don't know, three, four hundred dollars by the time it's all done. So, um, and it's open to anybody, anywhere. I'll ship it across the U.S., it doesn't matter, or, or across the, the world. Um, so that's coming up. I'm going to check on my food. I think it's just about done. We'll set up, I'll show you, I'll give you a little peek of what it looks like. I'll sit in the sun for a little bit more, drink some beer, and then we'll be out of here. Thanks. Stay by. All right, food just about ready. This thing is upside down, I can't see myself. <laughs> there we go. Food's just about ready. I want to show you one thing. Here we go. Forgotten country. Isn't that uh, like a British saying? Don't they, don't they say, forgotten country? Or is that Canadian? I don't know. You tell me. Uh, what I'm wearing, what I'm wearing. Well, I got my little bush hat on. Uh, this is a jacket, this is a German army surplus jacket, very light jacket. Just a t-shirt under here. Um, my fjall raven, pants on, 
good old beater pants. I, I like them. Been, I've beaten them to hell and back. Uh, My 5'11 hiking boots, some wool socks, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Pretty, pretty light setup today. Like I said, in the, with the wind picking up, it's getting a little cooler, but it's, you know, it's 50 some degrees. I'm happy. I'm gonna get that food out. I'm gonna give you a look at it, and uh, hopefully it'll be done. Boy. All right, folks. So, food is done. Got my little pouch. I'm just gonna eat it right from the pouch. Uh, Got my beer as well. Cheers. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> Let me get that retort pouch open. Oh, that smells so good. Yeah, that smells good. I think I'm gonna attract every coyote in the world here. So here. Wow. Look at that. Look at that, folks. There you go. that is. Oh, I got some cayenne pepper in there. Pepper potatoes. fish but hell yeah folks me and Diz want to thank you again for watching another episode of Guns, Knives and Beer if you like it click the link down below to subscribe click the like button if you don't oh well leave some comments help get this thing to a thousand subscribers and uh, big giveaway at a thousand subscribers we're having a great time doing this and I, and I really appreciate your views appreciate you watching appreciate your comments until next time we'll see you on the next guns knives and beer stop you
I never took the smile away from anybody's face And that's a desperate way to look for someone who is still a child In a big country dream Stay with you like a lover's voice Across the mountainside Stay alive We'll see you next time.